Hey guys, welcome to Jurassic Collectibles. Today we're going to be looking at this. It's an Amber Kane, Hammond's Amber Kane replica. And this is the closest one uh, to the screen use piece that I have seen so far. Um, it's just outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. It's made by a guy called Gavin. He's a prop maker here in the UK and his uh, website is myjurassicpark.com and uh, I'll put a link below and uh, you can get in touch with him and maybe talk about getting one of these yourself. It's made from resin. It was originally sculpted in clay, then cast in resin with a metal shaft down the centre. comes with a rubber tip to match the one seen in the film and the amber egg is cast in resin and has a real insect in the top. Okay, let's have a look at the detail. Okay, so it's time for the detail. So first of all we've got the amber egg topper here. Now uh, Gavin at MyJurassicPark.com has made this himself and I know that this is a difficult process to get right um, but Gavin has just mastered it. Uh, this egg looks absolutely beautiful and the the insect that he's using I'm, I'm not sure which type of insect it is but it's just fantastic the way it's just suspended in there um, and it's it's just a, a beautiful beautifully polished uh, amber egg he's done a wonderful job now if you look at the top of the cane here and compare it to the one that Hammond turns in the control room he has got this unbelievably close and that's why I rate this cane so so highly um, it's because he has matched it so well to the film used cane it even has a little notch there which you'll see in the film as he turns the cane um, which is fantastic um, just so, such lovely attention to detail the other thing that I love about this cane is the way it's nested in the top of the cane now, a lot of replica canes um, sort of nest the egg a little bit higher than the cane shaft. And that's not right. The one in the film is nested um, quite deep. At least the hero canes, anyway, the ones we see on screen, are nested quite deep in the shaft of the cane. So he's got that spot on. But I'll just show you the rest of the cane. And he's used this really nice sort of wood stain and it just gives it this really nice uh, bone-like feel because obviously the one in the film is supposed to represent the spine of, um, of a dinosaur skeleton and it tapers as it goes along almost like the tail of a dinosaur skeleton and it just looks fantastic and this was sculpted by hand and then cast in resin just like the film used one and it's also got a metal shaft going down the middle which strengthens it on the end we've got a rubber tip um, I'll just turn it around so you can see the end of the rubber tip but it's got like a sort of a nice grip texture on the end so I have no worries about using this as a real cane um, not that, that that's what I'm going to do um, my intention really is to have this on display but if you were to use this as a real cane um, I don't know how uh, wide my audience ranges from young to old, but I'm sure there are some um, viewers who uh, enjoy watching these videos and probably enjoy using a cane. So, um, yeah, if you are thinking about using this as a real cane, um, have a chat to Gavin, obviously, before you purchase one for that reason, but I'm pretty sure you could use this as an actual cane. Um, and what a decorative cane to have. It's, it's beautiful. So let's have a closer look at the egg quickly. So, as I said, if you watch the scene in the film with the control room where Hammond is turning the cane, um, this top section of the cane is absolutely sublime. It's, it matches the screen use one almost exactly. Um, I have to say, this cane in some ways is made better than the screen used one. Um, it does look like it's been made with a lot more care. Um, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful replica to own. Just look at that insect inside. Just amazing. Fantastic. Really nice work, Gavin. Really good. So, Gavin was also kind enough to send me one of these, which is a, a miniature uh, amber cane. So, he's mastered the art of making these canes so much that he decided to make 
a miniature replica and it's fantastic again it's flawless um, it's about um, about a foot and a third of a foot long and uh, it's beautiful absolutely beautiful just like its uh, bigger brother just a lovely little replica and it even comes complete with an insect in the egg a little tiny mosquito by the looks of it or a little fly and that's fantastic it's even nested in the top of the shaft exactly the same way as it is in the film so what an outstanding piece look at that look at the build quality on that so Gavin you've done it again my friend this is absolutely beautiful so I think you can tell that I am in love with this piece. I think it's absolutely fantastic and I can't wait to get it on display. Gavin has done a fantastic job. Um, so I can't uh, recommend this piece enough. If you're lucky enough to get one from him, um, shoot him an email, go to his website, have a look at his other stuff. And um, yeah, just see if you can get one of these because they're, they're outstanding, outstanding. The quality build quality is fantastic, the fact that it's so close to the film use piece, um, the real insect, the amber egg being polished so well, it's flawless. This is a flawless cane. If you're looking for Hammond's amber cane, uh, look no further than the MyJurassicPark.com uh, cane. It's fantastic. Okay guys, um, comment, rate and subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next video.